Hey y'all, it's me, Tori and Goddess, coming in with a message. G said, break the walls down. I'm coming. That's what they said. They said, break the walls down. Call me psychotic, but I'm bad, nigga, yo. And mama do your bad black. And when I come, I'm busting no niggas that held me back. They should have never let a nigga see that there was niggas and bitches and bitches and niggas that hated me. <laughs> Both been waiting for their day to come of age. The G said, you ain't going to escape that limelight, neither. You ain't going to escape it. Ooh. Somebody. Somebody. Feeling like y'all thought wrong about me. Mm-mm. Let's get it then. Show them. Show them with the handmade bow. Mm. You the truth? Somebody said I'm the truth. The truth and nothing else but the truth. A great one. Mm. Ah, great one. Yeah, say that shit then. Shit, proclaim it. Proclaim it. So mode it be. Be who you want to be. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Somebody ain't in no woulda, shoulda, coulda mode. Mm-mm. No. Like, I ain't, mm No negativity. No negativity. No negativity. Let me light my sage. Let me clear this negative energy. Remove these blockages. These blockages. Where are my crystals? Mm-mm. Uh uh-uh. uh, I ain't answering my phone. Let me turn it on silent. I gotta go pray. Okay, but the G said y'all both cheating. Y'all both cheating. Somebody intended not to though. It's like perhaps this is real. Okay, yeah, this the real deal. But damn, this person right here. This person you was feeling this person. Oops, I fell on it. Oops, I fell into it. Oops, oops, oops. Mm. Oops. Oops. Well, damn. Well, damn. No negativity, though, right? No negativity. Somebody lighting their candles, too. They light their candles. They pray. They try to remove these blockages, right? But you haven't. That's what the G says. You haven't. You going about it all wrong. I said they said y'all both cheating. How you trying to remove some negative energy and you are a part of it. You a part of the toxicity. It's a trait in you, the G said. You need, you, the G said, please stay prayed up. Please speak some positive affirmations. Please take some spiritual baths. If you don't have any crystals, please get some. Shoot a rock can speak to you. Hey, I just found a plant in my backyard, a weed that's a fever reducer. Ain't no telling what we got out here. And you, you know he gave it. Mm, Most High gave us the good sense that he gave us for a reason, and that's that intuition, right? Spirit. We born with spirit. We born connected to our higher selves. We just forget how to get there because we be in this damn carnal existence. And then how we are raised, um, how we are fostered during those impressionable years. Um, who's guiding us through this matrix? Exactly. The G said y'all both cheating though. Y'all both cheating. Today. Today, y'all both cheating. Cheating could be talking to somebody else, emotionally attaching to someone, kicking it with somebody of the opposite sex. Most definitely, you know, doing a horizontal goddamn twist with them. I don't care if you was being a rodeo cowboy, cowgirl, you still cheating. But you like, I don't know. Something was trying to stop you though, right? Some was trying to stop you from cheating. You wasn't paying attention to your intuition, the G said. 
Because you was compelled to do something. You had decreed it in your, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul not to mess with this person that you said. Mm. But you was thinking about it too much. You was placing too much energy on, into it. It's like you kind of manifested it, did you say it? Hmm. The G says you can stay positive through prayer. Near the water. You need a spiritual bath. Research that. Get you some sage sticks. You got to clear the negative energy. When the sun's shining and it's beating, no, it ain't hot. Go out there and get some of that sun. While you out at night, coming from wherever you go in the G said, because you out a lot, you, you driving a lot. Look at the moon. They said do that today. Do it today. That's what they said. Excuse me. So. Someone stepping on somebody's toes, but that's been confirmed. Somebody stepping on somebody's toes. And you really like, oh, well, whoever this message is for, you like, oh, well. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> mm -mm. I see some troubles in love at work, though, and at work. Are you dealing with somebody at work? But I'm debating with somebody about some coins, though. I see some anxiety about money. What's this shoulda, coulda, woulda in reverse? It's most definitely about a love situation. Somebody you moved on from, but they returned. The GC, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. You had issues with this person in the past, too. I feel like you are in some type of regret. Yeah, I feel like you are in some type of regret. Some sort of love situation that G said is causing you some setbacks, personally. Um, you may have blood ties with this person. I see you frustrated right now. Like, damn, can we just be friends? The G said that's that's how it should have been. A friendship. That's how it should have been, a friendship. You should have kept it as friends, they said. Said you felt some type of way about it, too. You did. You felt some type of way about it. But it was, I mean, you know, I guess it just happened like that, right? It just happened. It was an occasion of some sort. But the G said it was also a game of hazard because you took, you took a chance trying something new. Yeah, you took a chance trying something new and you was doubting your own um, intuition. This person you deal with may be immature as hell. Um, that's that's bringing up some blockages um, with your heart chakra. Because you have overcame some of these issues with your emotions that they done brought back to your table. You grew up a little bit. Now you feeling yourself, goddamn. You, you you feel like you done went back to some old ways of dealing with shit, right? It's been a lot of disloyalty off in the mates. Like I said, y'all both cheating.
he was trying to resolve something within you personally too, but you like, oh damn, perhaps I shouldn't have did that. Perhaps I shouldn't have did that. Because now you looking, you looking like who the enemy, who the enemy. Well, <clears throat> you are too. You help to create these obstacles of all kind. The G said. What's, what's stopping you from trying something new? Not this person, but the way you live your life. They said y'all both cheating. They said they need you to get about this. They need you to get about these inspired moments, these, these snafus in the matrix, uh, and restore your faith and your hope. And most high, somebody coming up out of a, a energy that was restored for a reason. The G's, see, the G's had you in a different energy for a reason. You could have noticed that a lot of the shit that you used to do or say, people that you dealt with, you ain't want to do that no more. But you know, people come back into our life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. They do. The G says you most definitely doubt in your, your intuition and you got some creative blocks right now, right? You was curious about this person. You felt as though it would be some possibilities. Um, but you were in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know your person cheating too, but you ain't said nothing. You waiting to show your hand. You waiting to show your hand. So who the twin flame, the karmic, or the soulmate? Spirit says you got to choose wisely. You do. I got a, a Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. I have a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Take it how it resonates. But it's most definitely some third parties. Everybody didn't collaborate in the G said there needs to be a conclusion of anything and plenty and some healing needs to take place. Some victory needs to be restored individually, personally, within you. Your peace been shook up. You didn't have some success with your money, with your business. The G said you, you making some money, but you, you digging somebody else. And it's Y'all out eating. Um, Y'all eating good. And you really have connected with this energy, right? But y'all both cheating. That's what the G said. Y'all both cheating. They want you to wake up. They want you to meditate. <laughs> they want you to meditate on this. Um, your spirit vexed for a reason. Because your G's trying to get you to pay attention. Um, you disgusted by something I feel like, and it's making you weary. Um, trying to find some contentment, trying to chill, trying to chill out, and I feel as though your heart beating fast. Your emotions are all over the place, and you obsessing over these actions that have been taken. Like, was this a blessing? G said, wake up. The divine love is where you sit up in prayer. They want you to wake up. You want that blissful love? You got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Align yourself with that love. You got the vibe at that frequency. Yeah, I feel as though you you blessed financially. You've been socializing and getting out. You know, you've been kicking it here and there. You got some material successes. The G said it's been some quick fulfillment. You know, um, you was listening to your intuition with this money, right? I feel as though it may have been a completion, though, somewhere. It was an accomplishment, but it was a completion with these coins. Um... I see somebody coming in your future that they want you to have precaution about too. 
You done lost a lot of hope. They want you to pray. They want you to pray. And they want you to know that after you pray, that you're going to have some success. They want you to pray like you know your prayer is going to be answered. Yeah. And they want you to know that whatever rise up out of these situations with these love affairs, you're going to be all right. But they want you to have some intelligence about it all. What are your primary talents in your career? I think that's what they want you to focus your energy on. Somebody coming towards you, I feel like I'm um, about to try to command something out of you. They want you to get a checkup as well. There's about to be some changes that's going to come and try to shake you up. Want you to have a discerning spirit about who it is that you deal with because right now you half and half. You half and half. They said um you connect them with the wrong energies. They want you to tuck yourself away so it seems like shit is almost identical to the T of what you're going through, right? You're going through some spiritual warfare too. Because you're transforming spiritually. Um, so it's a lot of attacks coming at you. You, you, you. You've been passionate about a spiritual transformation. You've been dealing with yourself, but you haven't released a lot of addictions. You're still attached to a lot of people, places, and things that don't need to be on this path with you. Um, these raw desires. Um the sex, for one, um, it says you fucking up out of both draw legs. You, yeah, that's what they said. You fucking up out of both draw legs, and so is your person. So is your person. Your person savage with it. They savage with it. The G says you aggro and them too. This person gonna be dipping. They said this person gonna be dipping. It's gonna cause you some emotional pain but this is where these restrictions gonna come in at you're gonna start dealing with yourself and you're gonna be restricting yourself <laughs> you're gonna be stingy with who get a piece of you a piece of your heart a piece of your uh, even your breath who you who you talk to who with these energies that's that's coming through your phone you i feel as though somebody gonna change their number Mm-hmm. The G said, wake up. Wake up and deal with your shadow self. And whoever you dealing with, whoever you dealing with, they said, y'all both cheating. So this person has somebody. This person has somebody. And Spirit said it was all bound to happen. It's timeless. It's, it's supposed to happen because you're moving out in this matrix repeating the same lessons. They said change is healthy. This change is going to be a twist of luck. It's going to make you level up. You elevating now, but you got these energies trying to distract you. And they were sent to distract you. Recognize, analyze, and realize that. However, I do see luck on your side. The G's want you to let fate take its course, though. And also know that it's somebody from your past who loves you. Mm-hmm. This person may be a fire sign. This person may be a fire sign or a Capricorn. That was your message.